Good morning and welcome back to Planet Old History. Today we are going to discuss what if Lithuania never united with Poland. In this video I will try to focus a little bit more on Lithuania than Poland because I made many videos which put an emphasis on Poland. Most people don't even know about Lithuania and if they do they probably know that it was part of the USSR, that they speak Lithuanian, that Lithuania is in the Baltics and they have a high suicide rate. If you're into basketball then you may know about the Lithuanian basketball team as well. Lithuania was one of the last places that was converted to Christianity in Europe and it was not until the beginning of the 1400s where all of Lithuania was converted to Christianity. When speaking of Lithuania, we have to keep in mind that in those years Lithuania was much bigger and included parts of the former Kievan Rus, such as Belarus and a good share of today's Ukraine, as well as some parts of Poland for instance. Lithuania was thus a multi-ethnic and multi-religious Grand Duchy. Thanks to the adoption of Christianity and more specifically Catholicism, Lithuania could be integrated into the cultural sphere of Western Europe and later on it could unite with Poland, becoming one of the strongest states of Europe of that time, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. But in today's video we will discuss how this would actually not happen. What if all of that changed? What if Lithuania never united with Poland? There are a few points of divergences which we could take. One point of divergence would be that Lithuania would stay pagan, but well, we will have huge implications which would make the scenario too unpredictable. Thus we can choose this point of divergence. A second point of divergence could be that Lithuania would never conquer certain parts of Eastern Europe and stay small. The risk with such a point of divergence is that Lithuania could then be overtaken by other powers. A third and most likely point of divergence is that the first wife of Vytautas survives and thus Vytautas never marries Jadwiga. This means that Poland and Lithuania will still remain allies and will still be the Teutonic Order, but after some time there will be differences. Lithuania will probably have to decentralize a lot. Ruthenians, Belarusians and other minorities would not like to bow down to Lithuanian orders while in Poland. Then we would see in the worst case scenario a war on the Polish succession. Lithuania would fight as well but Lithuania was not that strong to face a coalition of Western European powers in the 1400s or 1500s. We could see a Habsburg on the Polish throne or we could see at the end a Polish candidate coming from a cousin of a cousin who used to rule in Poland. Lithuania will have a good time up until a certain point. Once they get bad rulers and actually many of the Jagiellon dynasty rulers they were very good and they were one of the best that existed during the times of the Commonwealth, well, it will be a very tough time for Lithuania to stand on its own feet. Depending on how strong the Russian states grow, Lithuania could face a lot of problems from Muscovy, for instance, and even from Poland. Lithuania will have open areas, populated by non-Lithuanians under their control, and worse, they will be orthodox for most part. This will be easy pickings for Muscovy, later on Russia and over the time also for Poland, which will be satisfied by securing the eastern borders and expanding into strategic locations. Poland without Lithuania would probably also totally destroy or annex the remnants of the Teutonic orders, thus Prussia won't be born. As time moves on, Lithuania will shrink over time while Poland, Russia and maybe even Sweden will take chunks of Lithuania and instead of the Polish partition, we could see something like the Lithuanian partition. Poland will be the 
paradoxical winner in such a scenario. First of all, it will be more centralized, it won't deal with orthodox or big minorities such as the Ruthenians and whatnot. It could primarily focus on Polish interests and not divide their interest in Polish and Lithuanian interests while also dealing with minority issues. And the neighbors would either be very weak or not see Poland as a big threat. They would rather see Poland as a great ally to attack Lithuania, for instance, or an ally of convenience. During the appearance of Protestantism, I don't think that Lithuania will suddenly see a wave of support for Protestantism. They just recently converted to Catholicism and the Orthodox population wouldn't really see why they should become Protestant. In this regard, Lithuania will have it a bit easier than other powers. Another important aspect we could see is that Lithuanian culture and language would be much stronger and more widely spoken. During the union with Poland, Lithuania saw a huge wave of Polonization. Even nowadays you find a Polish minority in the capital of Vilnius, for instance. And there is also a Polish party, which in Lithuania even wins a few seats in the parliament for each election. Without the Commonwealth, Lithuania would have a stronger cultural tie and also the Lithuanian language would be spoken even in other areas which are nowadays part of Belarus and Ukraine. Would Lithuania be wiped off the map and be split between all the powers? Not really. There is a high chance of this happening but without Prussia in the picture and also with all the butterflies that we could see, Lithuania could probably still exist in some shape or form. We could see some smaller independent Eastern Slavic states existing for some time until being absorbed by either Russia or Poland. Lithuania will be in a very bad spot, not only geographically but also diplomatically speaking. Poland could still have France as ally as they would help each other against the HRE, Russia would have free real estate in Siberia, the Swedish Empire would not be at odds with Poland because most of the Baltics would belong or to the Lithuanians or just become annexed by the Swedes and the people within the Grand Duchy would rather support any other side just so that they could get independent or just have more rights. The Russians would probably not have a border with Poland and if they do, it would be shared with the Ottomans as well for some time and both the Russians and the Poles could become temporarily allies, while Lithuania would just be the third wheel. Allying Lithuania in such a scenario would not bring any benefits whatsoever to any state around them. And after the defeat of the Teutonic Order, well, Lithuania would just be a very isolated Grand Duchy. Overall, we can say that Lithuania on its own would not be able to stand on its own feet. They would not lose all the wars, of course, and there would also be times where they would have very good rulers and they could even expand, but their language and their culture would also still have a bigger impact in this uh, alternate timeline. But due to the geography and the non-existent benefits of having a Lithuanian ally, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania would not see a real big wave of support, but it would see a steady decline to such an extent that even the mere existence of Lithuania could be questioned in the future of this alternate timeline. Sweden, Russia, but most paradoxically Poland would be the winners of such a timeline. Because Poland, without becoming the Commonwealth, wouldn't be that big that it would be a threat to certain countries. Moreover, I would also suggest that Poland could have the chance to become more absolutistic, while a Grand Duchy like Lithuania could not really become absolutistic, and thus they would have very similar issues as the Commonwealth used to have in our timeline. This means that with all the decentralization going on and all of that stuff, Lithuania would have more problems from within than from the outside. And this would be a real, real great thing for powers that are outside of Lithuania as they could just support any random site. Probably Russia would use the same tactic as they did with the Commonwealth and maybe even Poland could do the same. And thus this would give in the way 
of the division and the partitions of Lithuania, where even the mere existence of Lithuania could be questioned. And that's where we leave it for now. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, support me also on Patreon and join my forum forum.planetalthistory.ga Until next time on Planet Alt History.